Hello, my name is James Julian, Product Specialist for Wireless Tools here at Atlas Copco. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to update the firmware on our low reaction tools. It's a fairly easy process and you only need a couple tools, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll need is a T10 Torx screwdriver, a micro USB cable, and a computer running Tools Talk Service 2. Begin by removing the access panel from the back of the tool. And removing the micro SD card, push in to allow it to be removed. Once removed, you can insert it into your computer. If your computer does not have a micro SD reader, you'll need to get an adapter. Once inserted into your computer, it should detect it label it as BAT, B-A-T. Then you can start Tools Talk Service 2. Once Tools Talk Service 2 has started, select the icon here for copy firmware. And you'll see the drive also detected by Tools Talk Service 2. You can select from the internal database, tool software for different types of tools, as well as different levels of firmware. For our tool, we'll be selecting TVP and we'll be upgrading to 1.3.5. Select copy and you'll see the copy to the SD card is very quick, it's completed. Now we can remove the SD card from the computer. Reinsert back into the tool, making sure that it is in the holder and clicked in place. Next, we'll plug in the micro USB cable into the port on the back of the tool. Next, into the computer. And you will need to install a battery as well. On Tools Talk Service 2, select connect. Now while the tool is connecting, it will go through its update process, which will take about five to seven minutes. Now that the tool has completed updating, you can right click to disconnect from Toolstock Service 2. You can remove the USB cable remove the battery, and it's now ready to be paired with the PowerFocus 6000. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. Thank you for watching.